I think with the time I have, with the moment I have, with the man not bullying me today, this second in silence, the man who stuck his genitals out with his hands banging them, slamming them, the hood he said he owns, his street he owns, the earth, his land, where he doesn't need some medicine in hell for his 200 pounds of fucking heart attack tomorrow in silence. The heart attack he'll have with what he did to someone who he's so fucking brain dead he thought was a drug dealer. After 20 years to fucking say to people like him I'll never fucking treat you as a doctor and I'll watch you die and suffer in silence. I'll take my four knives and my gym membership and use my black belt in jujitsu to show your family should you have one or if you were even born on earth. There was never a brain in your skull in silence. But you use machine guns and rocket launchers from the vehicle you drive saying climate change. Showing all the children what a bully, monster, dominant man you are. With your big genitals and your loud fucking voice. Nobody wants to hear. And everybody wants to stop. But can't. With such a bully, 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 in silence. He's got a thousand detonators in his home. He's got a hundred machine guns on his car and a bulletproof vest. He doesn't walk up to another human with his fucking bones. He walks up with a knife. He uses with his fucking machete. Who racists use. A racist. In Arizona, we would go take the Jora pile to go put in Tent City to go eat with the dogs. So they'd have a nice meal in silence. Learning about the brain, as far as Cordoma notes, was probably the most important part after proton radiation treatment and resection. The psychology and mental health currently available for Cordoma patients with the skull-based tumor offer little other than what the bully did to me and more drugs in silence. But with the disruption of the pituitary gland, the optic nerve, the brainstem pawns, there's benefits to get the brain back to a whole body. And after there's a whole body, then a skull-based chordoma patient who had as bad as I did and still have could maybe have what I don't have after 10 years on a land where they say there's medicine and health and the earth ruled by Jay Inslee forever now in silence and all of these cold faced smug violent criminals walking their dogs barking at me and staring at me ready to kill me and murder me
keeping me alive. Keeping me alive to continue what they're doing to me every day and every night on this fucking dead object. This dead gosh darn object. Wherever this object is. Whatever this object is. And wherever I am on it. I hope I can find a way off at the UW library today. Where, in, where I invite those observers to come see what a doctor does when they're not privileged, white, powerful, and dominant. Living so happily ever after in silence.